future's definitely bright. And talking of bright futures, we're joined by the current British middleweight champion, Denzel Bentley. Denzel, listen, we mentioned this earlier, but three years ago, you were stacking shelves in Sainsbury's. Now you're heading to the mecca of boxing, Las Vegas. It, it, dream come true, right? Yeah, man, it's what dreams are made of, man. It's just testament to my hard work and obviously my character because I'm willing to take these sort of risks to get to this position. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I'm excited about it. Did you always oh, believe, God, Denzel, you were going to get there? One day you're going to get there. I know you're not there yet. Like, it's still to happen. Yeah. But, um, you know, you win this fight. You're on top of the world, man. Yeah, no, I, 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 I did. But, you know, everyone has their doubts. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, how good am I? Am I good enough? Um, You know, I've, I ain't been in, with anyone at, at them levels. Or what do I need to do to show? Which is why oh. I kept taking risks. Why I took fights early on, especially in lockdown when... I was still a prospect. I took that British title fight against Mark F1. I took the fight against Cash and came up short because I always believed I could beat these guys and get to that level, but it was just a matter of showing it and how I'm going to showcase it and when I'll be able to get there. No, it's, 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 it's a great mentality. Um, when did you first learn about this fight with Yannick? Because I think you knew about it before that Mar Marcus Morrison fight, right? Yeah, I did. I did. I found out about nearly about two weeks before the, before the Morrison fight. It's a, it's, a, it's a risky fight because you go into that fight thinking, I can't get cut, I can't get injured. There's a yeah. lot of pressure when you, 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 fighters always say, you know, it's all about tonight, it's all about the next fight. We can't think too far ahead, but surely in your mindset, you're thinking, I'm going to Vegas to fight for a world title. This is crazy. Yeah, no, 100%. When I got the news, at first I was, I was mad excited. I'm like, oh, snap. Um, but I couldn't even tell anyone because it was like, oh, we don't want the, it to get out there or make it seem like I'm overlooking. Morrison and stuff, but then um, I think eventually, I, I, the fight week, I kind of pushed it back in my mind. I just thought I, I hadn't accepted it yet. I just said to myself, "Come through this fight with no injuries. You know, if it's not a, if it's not a, a long hard fight, then obviously I'll be able I'll be able to take it." But I thought, let me still go in there with with the same mindset as this is a dangerous fight. I got to win this, otherwise that's off the table anyway. So because I found out a little bit early, I was able to push it back. But if I found out on the week, I think that would have been bothering me a little bit. It's probably one of them situations where ideally you'd like to find out the day after the fights just happened rather than in the <laughs> yeah. Up to it. yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, I'd rather have found out the day after. But where it was such a quick turnaround, I think it was better that I found out a little bit earlier because it's like I can mentally prepare myself that I'm going straight back into camp rather mm. than it hitting me in the shop thinking that I'm done and I've got to get straight back into camp. So I guess, you know, it, it worked out anyway. The bookies haven't given you much of a chance, but I know your mindset. Do you believe that you can beat him? 100%. Otherwise, I wouldn't take the fight. I'm not going there for a, a payday or whatever. I'm not going there for that. It's not Canelo. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I can beat And even if I wasn't with Canelo, I think I could beat him too. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, I wouldn't take the yeah. fight. The fight got offered to me as a voluntary. It's not like I worked to the managed position and now I'm running scared. Like, oh, snap, I'm not ready yet. No, like, I want this. I, I think I've even said before in interviews that, I feel like that's a good fight for me. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't mean he's, he's a great fighter. I think he's a, I think he's a very good fighter. But I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be able to, you know, pull off the the win. It just means more book, more money in the bookies for the boys, Denzel. So it's yeah, hard. exactly. <laughs> no, hundred percent, hundred percent. But to be fair, I think most of the fights have been in the been favorite anyway. So I'm not. That's that's not new to me. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm all right. Now, last time out, obviously we spoke about you. Uh, taking out Marcus Morrison in four rounds. Then there was those two classics with Mark Efron. That win over him the second time round, it, it looks even more impressive considering what he's done. A hundred percent. He's moved up a weight. Now he's British Commonwealth and IBF European champion. Like that's 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 good. That's great for him. Like, do you know what I mean? He's he's achieved he's achieved the goal. He's, he tried, you know, third time lucky and, and he's done it. So I'm happy for him just as a person, but as a former opponent, it, it must look good on me. But I, I don't think I don't think I got credit for that win that at, when it happened, and that's all right. It don't really matter. But as it goes on, I think like when you look back at it, like you, you see that oh wow, Denzel beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like the first one was a draw. Mm. I think I won that anyway. But the second one, I beat him convincingly. And I think hey, as, as it goes on, what's going on, my brother? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> just mad. <laughs> mad people, hey, it's gym life. It's gym life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah. So I think as he goes on and does his thing and keeps producing these amazing knockouts. He's boosted my resume, which looks good for me. So go do your thing, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a celeb in the gym and outside the gym. That's what we like to see, bro. Yeah, people are just mad. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> is it the yeah. only blip in your career, you would say, is probably that defeat for, by Felix Cash. 
yeah. obviously very disappointing. But what did you learn from that? Did you learn more from that than I guess some of the victories that you've had? Uh, bad loss. I just I I've, I've learned most of all I don't want to feel like that ever again. Like it's not like I lost in a grueling twelve round fight and I can get a pat on the back. That was a bad loss. I'll be honest. I'll be the first to say it. Like I'm, there's, there was nothing to take from that apart from what was you doing. But it's just allowed me to just take a step back, look at the game, realize okay, it's not that easy. I've got to change a few things. I've got to sort out myself, make sure I'm the best I can be. If I feel a certain way, I've got to be vocal about it. I've got to make sure I feel 100% every time I step in that ring. Um, I've got to make sure I'm hitting the weight like the weight right so that I've got a nutritionist. Because before, I was just freestyling everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I picked up a few sessions. I realised I, I can train more because there's no way me that at that point felt like I was a world-level fighter, as I said in the press conference, should be losing like that to anybody. You know what I mean? So it just made me look at myself and feel like I'm not doing enough. I've got to do more. Not one person can question your bottle or your heart or your desire to go and be great. You know, obviously, Yannick is probably the most avoided fighter around for a reason. But Denzel, thanks so much. Get back to your pals in the gym. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the shout to go to Vegas. I might have to join that group chat. You better invite me soon. I'm sure <laughs> me and Kyle will be there. No doubt. Yeah. Listen, if I'm not there, I'll be rooting for you from the sofa. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck, Danzel. All the best, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.